Flying military transport missions put great demands on crew and aircraft performance. A great variety of mission profiles including operations under IFR conditions as well as low-level flights in hostile environments have to be handled. Crews must be familiar with the high-density European airspace, but as well with remote areas where only a minimum of air traffic infrastructure is available. This results in high workload for the crew. Cognitive onboard assistance systems are capable to counteract this. They are the key to ensure flight safety and mission effectiveness. Researchers at the Bundeswehr University in Munich are developing knowledge-based assistance systems for the third generation. The facilities allow design, development and the evaluation of complex man-machine systems for all aspects of aviation. They include flight simulators, sophisticated data acquisition devices and a staff with profound knowledge in cognitive engineering. Karma was developed in cooperation with the Electronic System und Logistikgesellschaft, the Daimler-Benz Aerospace and the DLR. It was financed by the German Department of Defense. Karma improved situation awareness offers solutions to planning and decision tasks, provides necessary data, and operates the aircraft on crew request. In order to provide correct and comprehensive situation analysis and reliable decision support, Kama communicates not only to the crew, but also to ATC, to command and control, to aircraft systems as well to the surrounding environment. Like an additional electronic crew member, Karma assists by giving planning and decision support as well as advice and warning. To get more familiar with Karma's functionalities, let's join the human electronic crew on a transport mission flown in the research simulator. Before takeoff, a flight plan is automatically created based on data link information and onboard databases. These include information about the tactical scenario consisting of several surface-to-air missile stations, transition corridors and other important tactical elements added by digital terrain information. Karma combines this to a three-dimensional threat assessment, generates a minimum risk route and completes the flight plan with IFR routings. The resulting plan leads us from Stuttgart Airport to the Sierra Uniform Lima Beacon. A hostile area is entered via a transition corridor. The minimum risk route that avoids enemy radar by terrain matching guides the aircraft to the drop zone and further on. After leaving the gaming area, the flight will continue to Frankfurt. Like its human crewmates, Karma uses speech communication. Alternatively, the pilot can interact with the system by finger pointing at symbols on the touch sensitive displays. Select Sierra Uniform Lima on VOR1. Accept. Accept. The requested NAF8 is selected. Now flight Lucky 07 is ready for takeoff. Lucky 07 is cleared for takeoff. Lucky 07 runway 25 is cleared for takeoff. Increase 200 knots. Here the pilot commands Karma to increase the airspeed. The assistant selects the desired value and activates the autopilot. Lucky 07, climb up flight level 80. Next, ATC clears our flight for a higher altitude. Lucky 07, leaving altitude 5000, climbing up flight level 80. 
The vertical profile of the plan is adapted accordingly by Karma. Lucky 07, Frankfurt is closed. Please say intention. A message that the destination airfield Frankfurt is closed was received. Lucky 07, Roger, Frankfurt is closed. Call you back for a new destination. Replan to Echo Tango Oscar Uniform Wiesbaden. Karma recommends Wiesbaden as best alternate. The pilot asks for automatic replanning and accepts the displayed proposal. Activate proposal 1. Lucky 07, this is AVAX. You're cleared for going tactical via Tango Kilo 06. Before entering the transition corridor, the pilot switches his primary flight display into 3D mode. It provides additional terrain information, feature data and displays the minimum risk route as a tunnel. Terrain and threat data is also visible on the navigation display. Enhancing the pilot's awareness concerning those elements makes flight close to terrain in even adverse visual conditions possible. In case of critical closure to terrain, a warning message is generated terrain. Terrain. and an evasive trajectory is created. When approaching the initial point of the drop sequence, the pilot activates the automatic checklist. Reducing 140 knot. He instructs Kama to perform all necessary speed and configuration changes throughout the drop procedure. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, drop. Unexpectedly, the tactical situation changes. Tactical situation changed. Tail rate high near Lima Romo 03. A SAM station blocks the outbound corridor. Replan via corridor Zul Romo 03. Immediately, a new transition corridor is proposed and a new flight plan is generated by Karma. Command and Control instructs Lucky 07 to divert to Stuttgart Airport. 20 miles inbound, the initial approach fix, the pilot avoids a thunderstorm. Kama recognizes this intent and monitors the weather diversion. Your intention now is weather avoidance. Lucky 07, due to weather diversion, proceed direct Luburg. Stuttgart radar guides Lucky 07 to the northern approach route and clears for the descent down to 5000 feet. Erroneously, the pilot does not initiate the descent. Kama detects the error and advises the crew. Increase rate of descent to minus 1400. Lucky 07, you cleared ILS runway 25 at Stuttgart. Lucky 07, Roger, cleared ILS runway 25, Stuttgart. Select ILS. The pilot commands the appropriate radio NAV setting via speech input. Exit. Except. During the final approach, localizer and glide path deviations are monitored. Below glide path. Lucky 07 lands and the mission is completed successfully. Kama was tested in the simulator by pilots of the German Air Force in 1998. The result showed the great acceptance of the system. In 2000, Karma was tested in two flight campaigns with a total of 10 flight trials. Before Karma was integrated into the test aircraft, its compatibility with the aircraft systems was thoroughly tested in the fixed base simulator facility of the DLR at Braunschweig. Before, all Karma interfaces had been adapted to the onboard computer systems of the experimental aircraft. As a result, Karma had continuous access to all aircraft and avionic data. Further on, the autopilot of the experimental cockpit could be controlled by Karma. Thereby, the full functionality of the assistance system was assured for the upcoming flight experiments. This simulator integration was also used to familiarize the experimental pilots recruited from the military transport wing 61 with the aircraft systems. 
Atas, a modified VFW-614 operated by the DLR, was used as test aircraft. This aircraft provides an in-flight experimental cockpit that is positioned right behind the front cockpit. It provides all functionality required to completely control the aircraft. During Karma flights, a crew consisting of pilots and engineers were on board the aircraft. In the front cockpit, two safety pilots were flying the aircraft only during takeoff and landing. The in-flight investigations on the Karma system was conducted by a military transport pilot in the experimental cockpit. Two operators supervised the Karma system. Additional engineers monitored the aircraft systems. The experimental flights were flown from the military airport at Penzing and lasted approximately one and a half hour. The low-level part of the flight was conducted in the Black Forest area. The Karma mission began with an IFR transit till the ingress corridor was reached. From there on, tactical low-level flight with terrain masking was flown. After passing the drop zone, the tactical situation changed and an alternate egress corridor had to be used. Leaving the egress corridor, IFR flight was continued back to the home base. The course of the whole mission, including all events and incidents, were identical to those practiced in the simulator campaigns. Aside from complete data logging during the flight trials, the experimental pilots had been comprehensively interviewed afterwards. Kama was rated predominantly to be extremely useful and progressive. The diagrams show results derived from the interviews concerning general system aspects. Situation awareness was clearly increased by Kama as the pilot errors were reduced considerably. Kama was very well accepted by the pilots. Pilots agreed that Karma clearly increases mission effectiveness, flight safety and survivability. The concepts implemented could also be used for applications in civilian aircraft as well as in helicopters or fighters. Even applications for unmanned air vehicles or intelligent tutoring systems are possible.